Hello everyone, it's Sort Rider here, uh, and as you can see, I've got a little bit of better light. I'm filming this as the sun's just starting to go down, so hopefully you'll be able to see me a little bit better. I'm uh, not going to be showing off virtually any bots today, to be honest with you. I'm here to talk about TF Nation, and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, the agenda, and also some of the convention exclusive things that we've got uh got ahead of us, uh, got to look forward to at TF Nation. So uh, let's start off with the latter, shall we? Uh, I've got a little bit of a cold, as you can see by my lovely red hooter there, so I apologise if I'm a little bit uh, nasally. So let's talk about convention exclusives. Uh, so the people at Kapow Toys seem to have got their hands on some of the uh, TFCon exclusive third-party figures, one of those being... Uh, Calidus Asterisk, um, the repaint of their version of IDW Rodimus. Now, I have got the uh, the original version of that figure. I have done a review on it. It's a fantastic figure. And it's done out in a kind of purple colour with some light blue on there. It, it, it looks a really, really cool figure. Uh, and even though I, um, I have got the original coloured Calidus, I am tempted by this guy simply because every year, for the last... This will be the third year on the trot I've been to a Transformers convention. The first year it was all about the toys. I only went there for a couple of hours and I bought loads of toys. And that the one figure that uh, really reminds me of that year was Combiner Wars Devastator. Because that was what I went out to get, that figure. And I got it within about 10 seconds of walking into the dealer room. Um, this year, uh, Last year, uh, the figure that reminds me of the actual weekend is a third party figure uh the fans toys version of preceptor and i got that as kind of a last minute getting a little bit of extra money out of my bank account because i met paul Eading, uh, paul eading sorry uh who was a fantastic blow the guy who played preceptor's voice in the movie and you know what i i really wanted something to remember that weekend by and that figure really reminds me of all the great times I had and meeting one of the guys who, who voiced in the, the, the one of my favourite movies that I've ever seen. So that was amazing. So I think maybe this year Calidus maybe could fit into that bracket because it will remind me of, of this year's TF Nation. But I think we'll have to wait and see. It looks a very good toy uh, and uh, I can't wait to see it there if I can get my hands on one. Another convention exclusive figure which will be appearing at TFN is a figure called Terragis, I think that's how you pronounce it. It looks like a yellow version of uh, a Trailbreaker figure. I think it's a repaint and I'm not quite sure which company makes it actually. Um, but it looks a good figure. I think it might be done in diachrome colours, I'm not sure. Um, not really for me though. Uh I'm kind of a cartoon accurate kind of guy when it comes to my Transformers and it doesn't really do it for me. It looks a very cool toy um, and it'll be a great memento for a lot of people out there, especially if it is a Diaclone based figure, but not really for me. The other piece of exclusive merchandise which will be appearing at TFN is a graphic novel. Uh, that basically finish off the finishes off the Transformers animated series, um, and this is f something those fans have been calling out for. I still haven't actually got to the end of Transformers animated, believe it or not. I'm about halfway through season three, so I'm not a million miles from the end. Uh, but that probably puts me in a good place because I can watch those episodes and then read this comic. Now they are limited; uh, they are one per person, I believe. Uh, however. Uh, what I will say isn't an official ending uh, as such. It is fan fiction. It has taken into account some of the uh, original plots that were, were made uh, that were documented for season four. But you know what? It's going to be great to see. It's going to be great to read all the characters that were touted in the third season, like for example Hot Rod or Rodimus. It'd be great to see him and see some of his artwork and that. So. Uh, that, that's going to be fun. And you know what? It is a bit of fun. It's great for us in the UK to get some kind of exclusives over, over other people, especially over the other side of the pond near, over in America. Those guys tend to get a lot of the exclusives. And you know what? It's nice for us to get one, really. But you know what? If it is successful, it wouldn't surprise me if there will be a full retail release of this thing. So let's get on to the TF Nation schedule. Um, so I'm going to be looking down at my phone because I've got it written on there. I need to make it a little bit bigger because my eyes are terrible. So it all kicks off on the Friday at about 10am when you can start to register. That'll be great for all those people who are staying over on the Thursday night. 
I'm not doing that. I will be there around aiming for lunchtime on the Friday. Uh, really looking forward to getting there now. It's less than three weeks away. Proper excited. Um, the first official event is something called Transformers Fans Unite. And what it says here, one room, one fandom, all we need is you. A social meet for all of those who arrive early. A great informal way to meet new friends and start a fun film weekend. So we've got 20 minutes of that, so we, we better move quickly and get in there and get to know people quite fast. <laughs> but you know what? It's great that there's one of those official kickoffs, and uh, it can be awkward for some people. Uh, I think back to last year when I'm quite an extrovert person, but I walked in the bar and there was a lot of people standing on their own and uh, just drinking pints on their own and that kind of stuff. And it it can be daunting to meet new people. So, you know what, it's great that they've put that on as a kickoff, uh, especially for the people who are getting there early, so they can really start to enjoy the weekend sooner rather than later. So that's that's a good shout, that one is. There's a lucky draw where something's going to be won by someone. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read through every single one and every single time, I'm just going to give you the gist. Uh, there's a colouring commentary. Uh in the panel room, I'm a, not a massive fan of panels, really. Except for the panels that are on the bar. They're quite good, because you can put your drinks on them. Oh, I'm joking. But <laughs> I'm not a massive fan of panels. There are some that I will go into, and I will take part at. But um, colour commentary. Uh, so, join long-time Transformers colourist, the colourist, sorry, uh, John Paul Bove and Josh Perez for an informal discussion about the life behind the stylus. So, yeah, I think that could be interesting. I mean, on paper, I should be interested because I've got a degree in illustration and all that stuff. So I should be interested in it, but I'll probably miss that one if I'm completely honest with you. Uh, it's a brave new world. This is the Brave panel. Now, uh, at first I thought, why are we discussing a ginger princess and a Disney film at Transformers convention? Uh, that film. But it's not. It's about... Uh, it's a spin-off of Transformers, I believe. Like a Gundam... Transformers robot spin off thing. <sighs> Not for me really. Uh if I it's a bit like the Golbot stuff last year. Um it it's fun. It had a little bit of novelty stuff. If you're into it, great, but not really for me. I'm there for Transformers, so there you go. Have I got foo for you? So YouTube's own Matthew Adams and Dave Mentz answer your burning Transformers questions. Probably the when's your next review? When's that Megatron review going to come out? That's probably one of them. Um, but yeah, that's at five o'clock till ten to six. They like a lot of these fifty minute slots actually this year. It's quite good. Give you a little bit of turn around, get time to go to the toilet so you don't miss the next panel. Um, that'd be interesting. Dave's a good lad. Uh, I we speak to Dave quite uh, regularly, and he's better half. Uh, M. So, you know what, it'd be great to see what they've got to say, and, and obviously through as well, that'd be fun. Uh, the Matrix Test, so that's at 6 o'clock. Looks like a quiz. Looks like a, yeah, it's a quiz. So, yeah, unless it's stuff I learnt in the cartoons, or stuff I learnt recently, then I probably wouldn't stand the chance in that. When we went to an official meet-up in Birmingham earlier on this year, I realised how novice my transformer knowledge is um if it's not seasons one to three of the movie then it's game over for me basically uh and then okay so at eight o'clock a little bit of a change uh they've gone f instead of having the 86 movie which i suppose i was looking forward to last year it was amazing to to share that experience with people i've never shared that before um uh, but you know what, it's great to freshen it up, and they're, they're putting the, the first Michael Bay film on, which, you know what, it's a good film. It, it, it's the best one out of all five of them, and I will watch that. I will watch it. I might not watch it all, because I think, unlike last year, I was going there a little bit blind, never met people in the flesh. This year, I've, I've got... I've got a lot of friends I want to meet up with and that kind of stuff, so it might be the case of diving in and out. But you know what? It's going to be a good experience to see that film. 
uh, especially with other people and other Transformers fans. There's another panel after that, but really that's that's when you'll either be hitting the bar or, or going to bed ready to, to flex your shopping muscles and rest them ahead of the following day's rampage uh, within the dealer hall. Uh, registration opens if you are coming on Saturday at half eight till nine. Uh, we can actually go in with weekend uh, tickets on the at nine o'clock. It looks as and the forge album is also at nine o'clock. Whereas the main hall opens for day pass ticket holders at ten. So as weekend pass holders, we get a little bit of an advantage. We can get in there a little bit earlier than the people who've just paid for a Saturday ticket. So I suppose that's fair enough, really. Beans we've paid probably double the amount. Uh, right. Uh, what else have we got? We've got uh. Get on with the ceremony. Um, the worst Starscream impression ever. <laughs> but it's the opening ceremony. Uh, then there's you can meet Bob Budiansky, which will be amazing. He's the creator of Transformers, uh, so that'll be great. Uh, you can meet then Brackarachne at 3 o'clock. Uh, there's some talk about the definitive G1 collection. Uh, that's the Hatchet Paperworks uh, volumes. I don't know if you're getting those. The most random subscription i've ever had sometimes they uh sometimes they, they come at really random times and it won't let me set up a direct debit even though i've set up a direct debit for it and then i hadn't paid for a while but i've still kept receiving them and then i got a 40 pound bill and sometimes they're packed ready to the parcels are packed ready to survive a nuclear explosion other times they're packed really weakly it's it's a bizarre bizarre subscription service but the actual merchandise themselves is actually really really good uh, except for the binding issue they've had i've had about four issue one sent through printing errors bizarre uh, what else have we got then the forge closes at five and the dealer room closes at five <laughs> then you've got uh the transformers youtube community uh channel uh, so that's whether you're a long-term member of the TTYC I think that's meant to be the TFYTC I think uh, oh yeah oh no no I think it's meant to stand for the Transformers YouTube community I was thinking TFYTC oh there you go too many acronyms uh, but yeah you can pop in and meet uh, all the other YouTubers so I'll be going to that uh, beans I've done shed loads of videos i think this is my 94th video now uh crazy really for someone who just thought he'd do one for shits and giggles last year and i've done loads of them now so that, that and i'm really enjoying doing them as well yeah, what else have we got then uh saturday night club con uh so pretenders cosplay uh Low script reading and then really a close. Sunday. Uh, doors open at 9. There's a conversation with Bob Budiansky panel. Dynamite with Hal Ray. Voiceover panel. That's at 11. Cosplay panel at 12. Triple takeover. Uh, a roundup of the hottest new third party toys. So that might be interesting to actually see. Uh, reanimated. Uh, that's talk about the uh, graphic novel that I mentioned earlier, the animated one. Uh, Mark Ryan speaking. Uh, he's the voice of Lockdown and Jetfire from the movies, so that'll be quite good. And then there's a Lost Light discussion um, before everything closes at five o'clock on Sunday with a closing ceremony, and we all have the realization that we're going to have to wait twelve months before we do all this again. Um, so it looks good. There seems to be a lot that caters for a lot of different people. Uh, there seems to be uh, lots of panels with a variation of guests from comic book artists to live action movie voice actors to cartoon voice actors to true, le uh, true legends like Bob Budiansky who actually created Transformers. There's a lot of variation there. There's a few games, quizzes, YouTube panels thrown in there. So it's big round better than last year, you know. I'm, I'm I'm really quite excited. I think I think as of last year, I'm planning not to. I'm not planning really to do anything. I, I, there's obviously one of those two things that I do want to really want to jump in on, but I'm just going to see where the weekend takes me. Uh, I might go to every single one of those panels. I might go to all but one or two of them. I might only go to one or two of them. I just have to say. Um, 
but the atmosphere is going to be amazing when we get there. It really, really is. The the TF Nation videos are really starting to kick off now. Uh, we're getting to the point where we really three work for, well, we've only really got two, four weeks left at work before a lot of us start arriving at TFN. So it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. And I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I have been selling some bits and bobs I've found, uh, which is uh, when I've been sorting out, as you know, I'm moving house, which is why I'm doing this video in my bedroom and not in my man cave, because it no longer exists. I've only got one Transformer out now. Apart from my Jimbao Bruticus and my um, Fort Max, which are too big for me to actually put away at the moment, but I've got a box in my car ready to pack them away. The only one I've kept out is this, my... Voyager Megs uh, from the new movie. Uh, I've actually got, had an itch today uh, to, to buy a bot because I haven't bought one in a good two, three weeks, um, really. So uh, I actually ordered a G1 Dreadwing today. One of the, uh, and it's probably on the back of those announcements. Uh, I'm sure you've seen them, the Power of the Primes announcements, uh, where him and Darkwing uh, are obviously being re released. Look like Combiner Wars retools. Uh, but yeah, I've got him with his Micro Master. No guns, but I have got his guns somewhere, I'm sure I have. So, you know what, I might actually have got a complete one for about 25 quid, which ain't too bad. Uh, and while we're on the subject, the Power of the Primes, you know what? <sighs> I might do a separate video on that, but how good does Rodimus look? Yes, he's got Kibble, but he's full of gimmicks, and that's fantastic. It is a toy, and it, it, it can be played with, and that's fantastic. Uh, Jazz looks great. Starscream looks very stylized, very Popeye with his arms, but you know what? I'm happy with that. Um, I think it's just exciting, and I think that the only thing that worries me is this is a third part of the trilogy. So when all this is said and done, what next? A new series, maybe? Uh does the generation line die? Because, you know what? We've had a lot of nostalgia lately, and I'm not sure there's much left after this wave of toys. Um, we'll have to say. Interesting, though, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I might do one more TF Nation video if I can think of a subject to do it on. Uh, so I'll leave it there. As you can see, it's starting to go a little bit dark now. Um so please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, I, I'm also on Twitter and uh, Instagram. Uh, Zort Rider on there. That's X-O-R-T-R-I-D-E-R. -R -E uh, and thanks for watching. I'm sorry it's been a bit of a long one, uh, but I hope to see you at TFN.